Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are and what time of day it is when you watch this video. My name is Z, and welcome back to my gaming corner. In this episode, we have just returned from Hyrule Castle. We have the Tower of the Gods, which is right there. But we need to make our way down here to the Forest Haven so we can get the hatch unlocked, so we can get some figurines made and get our pictograph pictures taken care of and so we can take more pictures when we go back to the Forsaken Fortress and free our sister. So let's make our way now. The wind is already blowing southeast and we can just sail directly to the Forsaken Fortress. So that's going to be our first objective. So off we go. And if memory serves, there is a beetle ship at the Forest Haven, which um, are those two little dots right there in front of us, way down there. There's a beetle shop ship at the Forest Haven, so we'll get some hoi pears, because one of the things we have to do is we have to open up the hatch, and we have to hit a crystal on the very, very top of the Forest Haven. So we have to fly up there with the seagull and hit that crystal. So yeah, we're just going to sail back to the Forest Haven. And then after we've turned in our pictographs and made the figurines, I'll get to show you the whole big room where the figurines are stored so you can see just how many figurines there are. And we're now going to start taking pictures of the places we go and the people we meet and making figurines so we can get all 134 figurines. Um, I don't quite know how we're going to get a picture of Tetra until a little bit later on in the adventure, so yeah. Do we also want to try and take out that platform and actually fully take out the platform and take out all the cannons too? We should totally do it. Remember, this is the platform we went to when we were traveling down to the Forest Haven for the first time, but we didn't take out the cannons because we didn't have bombs. So let's take out the cannons now and get the second treasure chest of this platform. So there's at least two cannons I know about, and then there's monsters up here, so let's get them. Joy pendant from him, joy pendant from him. Beautiful. Well, they're basically dead. They'll drown in the Great Sea. That's fine with me. some arrows. Okay, there's a bomb right here. So let's get some bombs on our bags. No, 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 no. We'll blow up that cannon, and then we'll blow up this cannon. Now, is that all the cannons, or are there more? Nope, there's a cannon right here. And is there a cannon over here? Yes, there is. We'll blow up these cannons, and then we should get another treasure chest. Really? We don't get an extra treasure for blowing up the cannons? Ah, that's too bad. Oh well, we tried. Okay, let's go down to Forest Haven now. Ooh, it might be morning by the time we get there. Who knows? Yep, and there's Beetle's ship, so we need to buy a couple of Hoi Pairs, because now is going to be the time when we need to get a whole bunch of Hoi Pairs so we can take care of some things on very high places that we need seagulls for. Or for which we need seagulls, because ending in a proposition, ending a sentence in a proposition, that's so... or, yeah, a preposition. Yeah, whoops, sorry about that. Okay, we need some Hoi Pairs. Oh! 
Oh, a customer! I've been waiting for you, you lucky person, you! Pirate sold me bombs for cheap, now is your chance, bye bye bye! By the way, Mr. Customer, are you acquainted with that adorable little pirate girl? You have a bashful look on your face, Mr. Customer, you can't hide it from me! Yuck, 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 yuck! Oh, just use Joystick to browse. You got a hoy pair! This special bait allows you to take control of seagulls. Choose your bait bag on the item screen and set it to Y, Z, or X to use it. When controlling a seagull, tap A to flap your wings and accelerate. Press R to quit. Thank you! Thank you! Now you have 10 points saved up. You should try to save it to 30 points. Oh, just use to browse. Thank you! Now we have 11 points. Let's get a couple more for you. Thank you! Buy any more bait? Oh, nope, we can't. Okay, guess we're good to go. Bye! Bye! Okay, let's now make our way inside the forest haven and go and open up the hatch so we can make figurines. Yeah, the Master Sword actually has a longer reach than my little hero's blade, so... Yeah, now we have the Master Sword, and it's so fun to play with this thing. Okay... Oh, sh great. Just great. I was going to go see what was down there where that other other flower is and see if we can get anything special because I haven't been down there in this playthrough. And now we have to climb back up again. Bugger. But, I mean, look at the range of this thing. It basically cuts off. It has such a long range that it, it's just incredible. Okay. Swing across. to here, and we can jump across to here, oh wait, no, 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 I wanted to, I wanted to go down and see if I could get something good down here. So what do we get for our troubles down here, nothing? Really, there's nothing? Ah, that's too bad. Oh well, we tried. Okay, we'll jump to here, we'll climb up here, we'll jump to here, we'll kill that Octo, and swing over to where he was. Oh, it's a full moon tonight. Very cool. Thank you. 
Okay, so we have to climb all the way up to the very, very top. Swing over to that, bud. Yep. We'll jump over to this one, and then we'll go to that one. Oh, seriously? You have got to be kidding me. Unreal. Okay, this is getting annoying. This is getting really annoying. I've never had this kind of problem trying to climb the big tree. I'm making sure the flowers are front and center, but it just doesn't want to seem to go into that other flower. that flower. We made it to this flower, and that flower is now front and center. Uh, finally we make it. Okay, so what we need to do now is grab our daycare leaf, and we have to jump over. Oh, seriously? Oh, bugger. Unreal. Why why wouldn't the Deku leaf Oh my gosh. This is getting really annoying. Maybe the third time's a charm. Who knows? Okay, so we're going to go outside here. And we need to make our way over to there, over to that island over there. And the wind needs to be blowing in the right direction. So let's get our windbreaker baton and change the direction of the wind.
Okay, so we now need to make our we now need to go over to that island. You, you, you're incredible! Did you just fly down here? That's the coolest thing ever! Hey, if you can fly, do you think maybe you could hit that switch over there, huh? Can you? Can you, huh? You can't see it, it's just over there, up towards the top of the forest haven. Don't you have a telescope? I mean, who doesn't in this day and age? Okay, so it's that switch over there that we have to hit. I wonder, could we shoot that with our arrow? Do our arrows fly that far? Such is the question, isn't it? It does fly. It seems to fly that far. Nope, we need to have a seagull. Okay, so let's get a seagull going on. Okay, so now we're controlling a seagull. We can press A to flap and... fly to the very top of the forest haven? Oh, we can't even do that? Okay. Can we fly up higher? I guess not. Okay. We got what we needed, and now there is also a ladder, so we can just park our boat right here and climb up and go and get um, things made. So we don't have to do that jumping puzzle ever again. Yay. Welcome! Welcome to the Nintendo Gallery Figurine Palace. This is your first time here, isn't it? Did one of our members provide you with an introduction? I hope. Ah, well, no worries. One way or the other, we've been losing members due to our lack of gimmicky attractions. But we don't worry, true fans know we're the coolest. So anyway, do you know what it takes to become a member of our club? The figurines we have on display here have all been made using pictographs provided by our devoted members. If you bring me the Master Sculptor, a pictograph that steals my breath away, then you'll become a member and you'll become able to view the collection in our galleries, and won't that be nice? Do you have such a pictograph? Um, yes, I do. Let's try with the Statue of Godan. Ah! Ah, no, this is quite an inspiring motif. Hurrah, I'm filled with inspiration. Please permit me to sculpt this. It will be a jewel of a figurine. So what's your name, kid? Link? Link, is it? Well, Link, this officially marks your introduction to our little club. I think I should be done with this tomorrow. If you'd like, you can go ahead and take a look at our gallery in the meantime. We can also get a picture of him and his assistant. Okay, so we have to wait a day. So we're going to go up top and we're going to change the day and come back tomorrow. So let's get our Wind Waker baton. And remember the Song of Passing? All right, now that it's the next day, let's see if our figurine is ready. Oh no, Link, the figurine making process is a trade secret, I'm afraid. I can't let you take any pictographs of my work. Could you come back tomorrow? Oh, so let's see. Great Sea, Windfall Island, Outside Island, Forsaken Fortress, Caves and Dungeon, what looks like. That might be the pirate ship, the Great Forest. So yeah, um... Dan would be from dungeons, would he not? 
because in each of these galleries is like places where we can put figurines. Doing your favorite figurines, move up and down, rotate, zoom by tilting up and down, explanation quit, talk about simple. Okay. So yeah, look at all these figurines in here. And we don't know where this is from. This is probably from um, Dragon Roost Cavern or Dragon Roost Island, maybe? Probably Dragon Roost Cavern. So all of these places have a spot for a figurine. And if you want 100% the game, then you need to collect all 134 figurines. So we do need to play the Song of Passing one more time while we're up top. Welcome, Link. The figurine you requested is ready. It's been a long time since I've done work this exceptional. Go in that door there to check it out. I've put it in the room right across from me. You can't miss it. Can we give him a picture of himself? Beautiful, breathtaking, sublime. The shiny pupil, the smooth, supple skin. Who is this? And where can I find such beauty existing in the world? Why, this is beauty incarnate. Mercy, my heart bubbles over with the undeniable compulsion to create a figurine from this work of art. Please permit me to sculpt this. It will be a jewel of a figurine. Alrighty, as usual, you'll have to wait until tomorrow. I bet you're looking forward to seeing what you're going to get. So the room across from him. Oh, whoops. Okay. Don't go through there. But since we're up here, let's play the Song of Passing twice. And then the other thing that we can do is we can also take a picture of Manny, his assistant, and make a figurine of that, too. So where is his assistant wandering off to? Okay, so directly across from the desk is... No, is this door over here. But that's Forsaken Fortress. Is this directly across from the desk? No, it's... Is for the Forsaken Fortress supposed to be all the dungeons? Well, there's his assistant. Oh dear, I need to get back. So where is the picture of Godan? Because he's not in here. Oh, he is, right there. See, there are little figurines that you can get. Godan, the Great Arbiter. Habitat, Tower of the Gods, Effective Weapon, Arrows. This monstrous machine was created by the gods as a trial for the great hero. You can drop it to the ground only by piercing its hands and face with arrows. Once it has fallen, you can defeat it by immediately tossing a bomb inside it. Oddly enough, arrows occasionally drop from its nostrils. So yeah, that is the... This is what I'm talking about. You can take pictures of all the bosses, all the monsters, everything and get little figurines made, and we have to fill all the rooms. So, let's go and see where he put the one that I took of him. Welcome, Link. The figurine requested is ready. I know I always say this, but this is some of the best work I've done in quite a while. Go in that door there to check it out. I've put it in the first room on the left, my left. So, first room of his left, because we're at the Forest Haven, and he's in the Forest Haven, we can go see his figurine.
Oh, yep, there he is, right back there. Karlov the Sculptor, birthplace unknown, occupation Nintendo Gallery Master. With unmatched talent, he is the world's greatest sculptor. It is said the reason he won't let anyone watch him sculpt is because he does so in his underwear. Okay. Lately, his club has been losing membership because he hasn't done anything cool with it. But as long as Link hangs around, everything will be alright. Are you saying my fans want this figurine? Wow, that golden freshly brushed hair? That stylish yet unassuming bod? Why, this is a mighty handsome man! Mercy, my very soul compels me to make a figurine from this picture. Please permit me to sculpt this. It will be a jewel of a figurine. Alrighty, as usual, you have to wait till tomorrow. I bet you're looking forward to seeing what you're going to get. Okay, while we wait... Yep. 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 Oh, our boat's right here. Sweet. Let's take a picture of the floating fish, shall we? So... If we zoom in where he pops out of the ocean... Zoom in all the way. And take a picture when he's right in the center frame. Got him. Okay, we need to play the Song of Time twice, or the Song of Passing twice. Okay, let's go see the sculpture of his assistant and see how cool it looks. Welcome, Link. The figuring requested is ready. I know I always say this, but this is some of the best work I've done in quite a while. Go in that door to there to check it out. I put it in the first storeroom on the left. My left. Let's give him the picture of the fish. Hmm, yes, this is a fine pictograph, but it just doesn't type of thing that inspires me. No, not even the least bit. Okay, so that pictograph doesn't want to work. No, I want to erase it. Ha! Ha! Ah, uh, this is quite an inspiring motif. Ha, I'm filled with inspiration. Please permit me to sculpt this. It'll be a jewel of a figurine. Alrighty, as usual, you have to wait till tomorrow. I bet you're looking forward to seeing what you're gonna get. Okay, let's go look at the figurine of his assistant. So it's right back here. Manny, birthplace Windfall Island, favorite thing, figurines. He used to always sit at home and rarely went outside, but his passion for the Nintendo Gallery kept him moving and he finally earned membership in it. So, you were a member this whole time? Awesome! Hey, and thanks to you, I got in and became a member too! Check it out! I gave this guy a pictograph and he gave me this figurine in return. Talk about cool, that be all the rage! So yep, so now we need to fill in all the rooms, every picture, every stand. Yeah, it's going to be quite the adventure. So 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to turn in all my pictographs. I'm then going to take pictures of what I can in the Forest Haven and then make those figurines and then show you everything I've done. So I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, welcome back. What I've done is I've turned in all my pictographs and I took some more pictures of here at the Forest Haven. Um, I took a picture of the, the fish man. I finally got that to work. I went in and took a picture of the Deku tree and Makar and Hollow. And I want to show you what I've done. So let me talk to the, the guy here. Welcome, Link. The figuring you requested is it's ready. I know I always say this, but this is some of the best work I've done in quite a while. Go in that door to check it out. I put it in the first door on the left, my left. So if we go into the Forest Haven now. You'll see that there are things in here. So here's here's Makar. Birthplace of Forest Haven, personality frivolous. Makar is in charge of the musical performance at the ceremony held each year by the Koroks in the Forest Haven. The instrument he uses appears to be a cello, but it's actually a violin. Deku Tree, birthplace of the Forest Haven. The Deku Tree is both an earth spirit and the guardian of the forest. He has lived for many long years, so his wisdom is vast. However, since his roots run deep into the earth, he cannot move. As a result, he is often afflicted by parasitic enemies. Hollow, birthplace of the Forest Haven, one of the Korok forest spirits. Even after the Korok ceremony, Hollow remains in the Forest Haven researching potion making. He'll make a potion that replenishes both his life energy and magic power for you if you bring him Boko Baba seeds. Anjala Manjala Chowe! Karlov the Sculptor. See, we went through this one already. And then we, got, we also got Manny. So birthplace is Windfall Island, favorite thing's figurine. He used to always sit at home and rarely go outside, but his passion for the Nintendo Gallery kept him moving and he finally earned membership in it. And then, like I said, I did get a picture of the fish man. I had to get close enough to where he would jump out of the water, but not so close that he wouldn't stay underwater. And then I took a nice close-up picture of him, and he's in the Great Sea in the back corner. See, I got the fishman right here. Fishman, birthplace, the Great Sea. Personality, honorable, dutiful, and surly. Apparently, these fish were aided long ago by the King of Red Lions, which is why they're now willing to offer Link valuable information. Unfortunately, much of their information is off the mark. For many long years, they have suffered from stiff necks, but none of them know how to cure it. So yeah, there's the fishman figurine. And we have all of these things to fill in. So... What I'm going to do now is I am going to revisit every place we've been in the game from Outset Island to the Goron Merchants to Windfall Island to the Forest, the Forbidden Woods and um, Dragon Roost Isle and Dragon Roost Cavern. And I'm going to take pictures of everything and everyone, all the creatures, all the people, all the enemies, everything. And then I will come back here and we'll show you the results. So I look forward to seeing you in just a minute. Okay, so while it's only been like three seconds since I last spoke with you guys, it's actually been two and a half days since I recorded the previous clip. And let me tell you, oh my gosh, seven hours a day, um, doing this stuff for the last two and a half days. Yeah, 20 plus hours of traveling back and forth between Outset Island and then traveling back and forth between Windfall Island and then traveling back and forth many, many times between Dragonfall or, yeah, or is it Dragonfall Island or whatever it is? And then going back and forth between the Tower of the Gods and going between the Forbidden Woods and going between um, Dragon Roost Cavern. Uh, yeah, back and forth and back and forth, because you can only ever hold three pictures at a time, and there are 134 figurines. 
and I did the math, at 134 figurines, you would have to take three pictures and travel back to the Forest Haven 47 times. So just imagine that. Break that down between Outset Island, Windfall Island, Dragon Roost, the Caverns, the Tower of the Gods, 47 times between four areas, basically. Yeah, 10 trips. And I haven't chastised Cyclos yet, so I can't instantaneously transport around the Great Sea. So I had to, if we pull up my sea chart, I've had to travel from the Forest Haven to Outset like 12 times. And then I had to travel between the Forest Haven and Windfall Island, passing through the Tower of the Gods about 12 times because there are many, many, many figurines to get. And then traveling between Dragon Roost Island and the Forest Haven, back and forth, back and forth, many tens of times. Just like, ugh, I am so burned out of doing this. But the result is incredible. So let's go into each of the rooms. And you know, I took you on a tour prior to this clip, and they were just like completely empty, and you saw all the little platforms. Well, take a look at it now. So yes, I still have a lot of empty platforms, but look, we have... Mini figurines from like fairies to Tingle Island to I even got some legendary pictographs and I'm going to go over how to get legendary pictographs when we get back to Windfall Island after we go rescue our sister. I will show you how to get legendary pictographs, but I have a great fairy uh, figurine and I have the wandering merchants because we, we traded that town flower for the sea flower and then I got a sea flower into an exotic flower. Um, I also got I also got Beetle, our shop ship clerk and then I went to Windfall and I took pictures of Salvatore and Lot right here and they they're in the the cafe at night and I also talked to the dredging boat people and I got Mr. Ho-Oh who looks out to sea from various places and shows you the great treasure and then I also got the fishman finally so that's just this is just in the great sea and there's still a lot more to do because we still have a lot more of the game to explore so there's still plenty more to do for the great sea and then if we go into this next room, it looks like Windfall, right? Windfall is done until I get to the Forsaken Fortress again. So if we look at Windfall Island, you'll see that all the residents are here. There's Zuni, our shopkeeper. All the residents of Windfall are here, from Lenzo, our photographer, to Tot, who dances up at the at the gravestone and gave us the, the song of passing and there's the killer bees and the school teacher and the little girls that play by the bomb shop that are kind of rude to us and and then i also got maggie's father who is rich right now but after forsaken fortress everything's going to change so when we get back from forsaken fortress we'll have to take his picture again because he'll be in scraps we'll have to get pictures of the two daughters because right now they're on forsaken isle in prison and then he will be really uber rich so basically him and him are going to trade places and he's going to be a pauper and he's going to be wealthy and we'll take their pictures again and then come back here and get the other figurine for them but like everyone else on windfall all their pictures are here there's the sad man that wants love in his life and there is the doc who will turn chew jelly into potions for us and there's canon who is the bomb shop owner and then there's the scaredy cat man we took a picture of to get our pictograph and then there is the barkeep for the cafe and also the guy who sits on the bench so it's got i got everybody in windfall so all these figurines are now done let's go into the next room so this is outset island and it is completely done so as you can see, we got a crab that's on the beach, and we got the guy who we cut his fields. And there is Jaboon, that's another legendary pictograph. And the way that the legendary pictographs work is they're dictated by the phases of the moon. So like, for example, the full moon, you can get Ganondorf's picture from Lenzo for 50 rupees. And then when there's a little bit of it missing, then you can get the Great Fairy. When a little more is missing, you can get Jaboon. When a little more is missing, you can get the, the Queen of Fairies. And then a little more is missing, you can get the Sages that are long dead. Um, we'll go over all of that when we get back to Windfall and go through the side quests. But I got Jaboon. And then there's Orca and Sturgeon and the gal that puts a pot on her head. And I got some seagulls finally. And then when I took a picture of my grandmother, it gave us Errol's 
um, figurine too. So when you take a picture of the grandmother in her house, then you also get your sister Errol. And then I took a picture of the pigs we gave to that one lady who wanted pets, and I got the pig figurine. And I said, there's the lady that wanted pets for her boys. And then there's the father and his two kids with, and there's the kid with snot hanging down his nose. So yeah, Outset Island is done. So yay, but yeah, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Sailing, to and from, to and from, oh. Yeah, you'll be sick of sailing too. Now, the next two rooms are monsters from the dungeons, including bosses, um, little monsters, and medium mid-bosses. So you see we have the Dark Knight here, and we have Godan. We also have the blue wizard robes that were in the Tower of the Gods. And I got some a Moblin picture. And I got a Mothra picture. Now, unfortunately, to get the Great Octo, what happened was I was traveling back and forth between the Forest Haven and Dragonroost Island, and all of a sudden the sea starts spinning around and it's a big Octo, so I just killed it, not even thinking about it. And then as I was going through the player's guide looking at all the figurines, I'm like, oh crap, I need another Octo, but I'd already killed two big Octos. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. So I went to go kill a third big Octo to get the picture, and the picture didn't materialize. Like, I took the picture, I took it back, and he's like, you, this, this picture isn't something that inspires me. I'm sorry, I can't use this picture. So I then had to go kill another big Octo, and getting wise, finally, I saved the game right before encountering the Octo and took a picture of the Octo, then had to kill it, because you can't get out of that fight. And it was the Great Fairy who enhances my magic power. That's why you see my magic bar now encompasses more of the of the life bar. So I've, I've increased my magic power. I was going to show that, but it's like, ah, oh, crap, I can't go back. Crap, psych. So I'm really sorry about that. When we get the Octo chart and go after the other big Octos, I left the ones that have heart pieces. I left them alone. They're still available. And I'll show how to kill them on the channel. No worries. But like the one for the Great Fairy, we'll go over all of that when we get the Octo chart. But I got the picture of the of the Great Octo. But you see there's still a whole bunch of missing platforms. These are the remaining bosses, mid-bosses, and enemies that we have yet to encounter because we're nowhere near the end of the game. We have so many more different kind of monsters that we still have to encounter. And then we'll take their picture, bring it back here, and we'll get their figurine. So by the end of the game, this room will be filled up. And then we go to the next room, which is more like run-of-the-mill monsters. So as you can see, that that wall kind of looks like the Forsaken Fortress. See, and then this looks like a cave with like lava and, and lanterns and smoke and stuff. So this is like more of the run-of-the-mill monsters that are just like rank and file, whatever. And I, I went into the dungeons and got a lot of their pictures. There's still a couple. There's like one right here that I don't have. But like we got those moth ants and we got the vocal blends and we got the bubbles that were in the Tower of the Gods that were annoying us and I couldn't chew with the arrows. I got a picture of them and the vocal babas. And here's, here's another um, confession. I went to Headstone Isle, which is right here next to Outset Island. And there is a submarine like if we were to zoom in, there's a submarine in the upper left corner of Headstone Isle. And if you go into this submarine, there's a whole bunch of rats running around that throw bombs at you. And if you kill all but one and then go and sneak up on the one that's left, he'll stand up on his hind legs and you can take his picture. And that's why I got the rat figurine. But when I killed that rat, I got a treasure chest and there was a treasure chart inside. I'm like, ah, crap, I can't show that on screen. Like, bugger. And then, um, when I was going back and forth between Windfall Island and the Forest Haven to get the Windfall figurines, I did the auctions at night. So, for the auctions, there is the Joy Pendant that I've already shown on the channel when we went back to the Windfall side quest, I believe it was episode 5. Um, when we returned to Windfall, it's called the Windfall side quests. I showed you the auctions. After the Joy Pendant, there are two auctions of treasure charts. I got both of those. And then I was thinking there was going to be like something else, like a skull necklace or like a potion or something. But then there was the piece of heart. So I won the piece of heart uh, and can't show that on, on screen now. So I'm sorry about that. But I got another piece of heart. And then I went to Stonewatcher Island right here. And ho -Oh was there and I took his picture and he was pointing out to see at a at a platform. So I went out to the platform and cleared out the platform thinking I'd get the treasure chest, just some rupees and whatnot. Nope, that treasure chest turned out to be a piece of heart. So right here 
on oh no on Headstone Island on Stonewatcher Island right there. So I went to I went to Stonewatcher Island. Ho Ho was there. There's a platform out there. When you visit the platform on Stonewatcher Island, you drop bombs to destroy the cannons, which I've I've shown in in uh, in my videos. And it caused a big chest to appear because there's eight cannons around that platform and you'll get a piece of heart there. So I've completed another piece of heart. So that's why I have eight heart pieces instead of eight hearts instead of seven. So there's two heart pieces that I got that I can't show, but I have another heart. So we have eight hearts now instead of just seven and we're fresh out of heart pieces. But I left the two big octos alive, so that's two more heart pieces, plus the one from Forsaken Fortress. Plus, I still have yet to turn in the golden feathers for another piece of heart, so you'll get to see a lot of this stuff. Um, so I cleared out that platform, and then the big octos that I killed, there's a big octo in Eastern Triangle Island, it's out in the sea. And there is a big octo um, out here at the flight control platform, I killed that one. And then I went over to um, Shark Island, and... There's a big octo there, but I went to this island right there in the bottom center, and that's the big octo that, it, that when you kill it, then a great fairy appears and expands your magic. So you go out to sea, you look for seagulls flocking around in a big circle, you fly out to the seagulls, and the big octo will appear. You shoot him with your boomerang. I will show you how to do that in a future video. So I've done some stuff off screen just to get the figurines, and the map looks like this now and all the figurines that I can do with stuff that we've experienced are done. Like there's the mini blends that were on outset and the chews that are on outset. And when you, when you take a picture of one chew, you get all of them. And then I took pictures of P-Hat in the Forbidden Woods and I took a picture of the, the Kogaras. What are these called? They're the, the Kargaroks. Um, I went up to the Tower of the Gods and there's a place when you, no, not Tower of Gods, but in Dragon Roost Cavern, there's a place you come out and you, you climb on the outside of Dragon Roost, and there's that Korgrok right there. I just took his picture. Yeah. I got him. And then I got a sea hat, because there's a sea hat that spins around Northern Triangle Island. You have went to the island to take a picture of him. And then um, the octopus, the octoroks that are at the Forest Haven that are in the waters, and you, reflect, you, you repel back those projectiles. I showed you that when we when we went down to the Forest Haven. And we talked to the Deku Tree and we were traveling up the water and there was like Octorok spitting at us. I took their picture, you get both of them. Now, to get a picture of Gyorg, let me just demonstrate this. Gyorg is a shark that attacks you at sea. And there is a there's a depiction of me um, defeating him with my boomerang. What you do is when he's spinning around out at sea, what, what you do is all you can see of him is his fin. So just imagine for a minute that you, you can't see the rest of his body, so just put your hand in front of his body, and all you see is his fin. And do you see how big it is on the screen? You need to fill your entire camera view, zoom in on that fin so it fills most of the camera view screen, and take a picture of just his fin, and then come back and talk to Karloff here at the Nintendo Gallery, and he will make you Gyorg. And it's a, it, it, it's basically, Gyorg was a boss, in the in the water temple of Majora's Mask. Like when you go out to the Zord Domain and you go into like the, the water temple area down there in the south um, in Majora's Mask, you actually have to fight Gyorg. And he's a big giant fish. He looks just like that, but he's a big boss monster in Majora's Mask. Well, he's here in Wind Waker. And then of course we got, we took, the, we took that picture when we were in the Tower of the Gods. And then I got the Morph. But there's still like four pedestals in here. There's three on the back row plus this one up here, there's still four here, and then there is 12 more in the other room, and I counted through all the figurines, which makes 16, and there is exactly 16 monsters and bosses that we have yet to see. So we're gonna take pictures of all of that when we encounter them. And then I'll come back here, and I'll show you the I'll show you their figurines when we get done with that. So if we travel now into our next room, you'll see that it kind of looks like Dragon Roost Village. Okay, with like the all the claws and the flags hanging down and like the the walkways that are perched up with the with the wood and whatnot. This is Dragon Roost Island. And so all the all the figurines that go with Dragon Roost are here. So I got all of the, the Rito and all the guards, and I even got the chieftain's picture. And there is the when I showed you how to get that piece of heart at the mail room and he hires his assistant, I got his picture. 
and then um, I also have the there's quills there's quills and where is oh yeah here he is this guy is the postmaster so when we talk to him his name is Kobali he's the mail sorter Kobali is a third generation in a family of postmen but rumor has it that an ancestor of his in an age gone by was also a postman he kind of looks like the postman from Ocarina of Time if I show you Ocarina of Time I'll show you the postman Anyway, so we got all of him, and there's the chieftain, and then to get Valu, what you do is you go into Dragon Roost Cavern, and you climb up to where you exit to the outside for the very first time, and you turn around and look up, and Valu is sitting there, you can just get a headshot, but you take his headshot to Karlov, and he will make this beautiful figurine of Valu for you. And then, um, I did get sucked up by the Cyclone, and I took that picture of Cyclos, and I took, all you need is a picture of the purple cloud he's in, and you'll get the Cyclos and Zephos figurine. Yeah, all the other, read over here now, there are three empty, um, pedestals in this room. One is for Medley, one is for Prince Kamali, and one is for the Sage that we will meet later on in our adventure. It's a legendary pictograph, and the way the pictograph works, like I was talking about earlier, you have to encounter the entity, like we have to encounter Jaboon, or you have to encounter a great fairy before you can get the legendary pictograph. So even if the moon is in the proper phase that you could get a legendary pictograph of one of the sages or of the King of Red Lions or Princess Zelda, you have to meet them in game before you can get their legendary pictograph. So I can't get the pictograph of the king or of Princess Zelda or of the sages yet because I haven't met the sages yet. I haven't encountered them in game in their form yet. But as soon as we do that, we can go to Lenzo when the moon is right and get their legendary pictograph, bring it here, turn into a figurine. So, um, and if you remember from when we beat the Dragon Roost Cavern, Kamali gave us Din's Pearl, and then he's like, I'll come visit you sometime with the best wings ever, and he went off with Medley. They're not in Dragon Roost Isle right now, they're nowhere to be found, and they will not appear in Dragon Roost until after the next Forsaken Fortress event, which is our next episode. So, I've done, I've taken pictures of everybody I could, I've made all their figurines, and the ones that are still empty are things that we cannot do with our pictograph until after the Forsaken Fortress event when we rescue our sister. Now, if we come here, see this looks like the Forest Haven with all the trees and the, the Boko Buds where we can shoot up into the air. So if we come in here to the Forest Haven, You'll see that I went around and I took pictures of Makar and the Deku tree. And then this pedestal right here is for the sage that we're going to um, encounter later on in our adventure. So that's going to be a legendary pictograph. And then I went around and I found where all of the withered trees are because this is for a piece of heart. This is for after Forsaken Fortress because we have to do some stuff before we can actually go on this quest for this piece of heart. But you can still sail around to all the different islands where the Koroks are tending their withered trees and you can take pictures of them. So I got all the Koroks that were at the at the ceremony. They're out on the Great Sea tending their, their Deku seed trees that they've planted. And I just went out to all the islands and I took their picture, brought them back three at a time, and then turned them into figurines one at a time by giving them to Karlov, going up top, playing the, the Song of Passing twice, going back in, giving him another picture, and then once I give him the third picture, venture out, and by the time I get back, a whole day will have passed and I can just give them more pictures. And then there's Karlov and Manny. So yeah, the only pedestal that's still left open is the legendary pictograph, which we have to meet the sage in game, so I can't do that yet, but... The pedestals are all fill it, filled in, and the vast bulk of the empty pedestals in the Great Sea, we're going to go one more time into the Great Sea, and um, if you remember from when I showed this previously, there are some in here, but there is a whole wall, like for example, there is an entire wall, like right here, that has nothing on it, and then there is a couple back here that have nothing on it. So, one of these, a couple of these, I do believe, um, like the Queen, the Queen of the Fairies, and one of the other legendary pictographs that I can't get yet, are for these two in the back, and then this entire wall 
is the pirates. It's so like when you when you take Tetra's photo as Tetra, you get her entire crew. So you'll get Tetra and Nico and what's his face and then the other guys, the entire crew of the pirate ship will go on this wall and then um, if memory serves, this one right here at the front is for us. So there's a there's a figurine of Link and the King of Red Lions sailing on the ocean. It's in the in the end card of all my Wind Waker videos when it says thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. The picture that's on screen has Link and the King of Red Lions splashing through the water. It is that exact figurine, and you get that figurine once you have acquired every other figurine in the collection. So all the bosses and monsters that we have yet to encounter, all the legendary pictographs we still have to encounter and then purchase from Lenzo, everything. When all other pedestals are filled in, then you get Link and the King of Red Lions automatically, and it goes in this room right here. So we still need to get Tetra and all the pirates and the Queen of Fairies and then fill in all of the other pedestals and then we will fill in the last one of this room. So there are still quite a few figurines to get. There's still a few monsters we still have to photograph. But as we continue on in our adventure, like for example, when we go to the Forsaken Fortress in our next episode, I am going to take pictures of the bosses because these are going to be the, these are going to be the only time we get pictures of these bosses. We're going to be facing Phantom Ganon, and we're going to kill him in a very similar manner to the way that we killed him in the Forest Temple in Ocarina of Time. He's going to shoot a ball of energy at us, we swipe it back with our sword, it goes back and forth like tennis, and then it will strike him. When he falls to the ground, we pull out our camera, take his picture, and then annihilate him. And then we can turn that picture into a figurine of the boss. And then likewise, when we fight the Helmrock King, we have to stun him so we can attack him. When we stun him and he's just sitting there like all popsy-turvy and whatever can't move, we take out our camera, take a picture of him, and turn that into a figurine. And then, because we got the Picto Box as early as we could get it in this playthrough, after we rescue our sister, we'll get to go with Miss Tetra um, to the next part of the adventure, but for like five minutes there, we'll be with Tetra wandering around and we can pull out our camera and take a picture of Tetra. And in the first quest, it is the only time you get to take a picture of Tetra. So you have to take that opportunity. So when we go to Forsaken Fortress, we're gonna take a picture of the two bosses and then Tetra and fill in those, those figurines. And then if there's other monsters that we encounter in Forsaken Fortress, I will go back there off screen. And so from here on out, if we encounter a new monster, there will be a little a little cut when we go get the figurine and then back to the adventure. So that's the way it's going to work from here on out for the rest of the game. When we encounter new monsters, we'll just pause for a minute. I'll go turn them into figurines, show you the figurines, and then back to the adventure. But yeah, I have spent the last two and a half days traversing back and forth, three pictures at a time. Take a picture of the crab and the seagulls and my grandma come back, turn those pictures in, then go back and get the pig and the wife and the father to go back. And then come back and get the two kids and then Orca and go back and then go get Sturgeon and Andrew with the ball on her, with the thing on her head and then the guy who's trying to cut his grass, go back. Then I go in and I get the clues or the choo-choos and the moblins and the mini blends and go back and then I got the morph and the mothras and then I had to go back. But it's like it's back and forth, back and forth several times at each place because you can only hold three pictures at a time. And when you go to Windfall, there's like 35 people there. So you've got to travel back and forth between Windfall like 15 times to get all the pictures done. And because some of the people are gossiping with each other or facing each other and chatting and you can't look at them straight on, if you try and turn them around and just get their headshot, then Karlov will say, um, I'm sorry, but you have to show their whole body. So you take a whole body shot of them and he's like, but they're not facing the camera. So back and forth, trying to get a, a vantage point, trying to get their pictures. So just stay diligent. If he denied, if you take a picture and take it back to Karlov, who's that guy right there behind the desk. And he's like, I'm sorry, they need to be facing the camera or, or I'm sorry, you have to see their whole body. Just go back and try a different vantage point. Stand behind the person they're talking to off to the side a little bit and shoot their picture. So you're mostly straight on and try and get their entire body. Even if the backside of their, their conversation partner is facing you and you have 
the one person in full view on the front, but then you have the entire backside of the other person, it will still work. So, so yeah, just, it's just take pictures of everything, every creature, every monster, every character, every person wandering around, everything. Take a picture of everybody. You can hold three at a time, come back to Karlov, turn one end to him, and then go into the, the light right there where it's all shimmering and cool. Go up top, play the Song of Passing, which if we look at our um, menu screen right here, play the Song of Passing, which is right, left, down, and play that twice. So if it's daytime, playing it once will send you to nighttime, and then play it again to go back to daytime, and then you'll talk to Karlov, and he'll like, hey, the figurine is done, I put it in this room, and then you can give him another picture. And then go up top, do it again. Once you give him your third picture, then depart and go get your next set of pictures because the amount of time it takes to sail from the Forest Haven to Outset, the Forest Haven to Windfall, and the Forest Haven to Dragon Roost takes exactly one day. So if it's daytime at the Forest Haven, it'll be nighttime by the time you get to Outset Island and then take your three pictures and then you have to travel back to the Forest Haven. It'll be daytime by, by the time you get back to Forest Haven. The day will have passed and you can then turn in the next picture and then fast forward time twice, turn in the next picture, fast forward time twice, turn in your third picture and then depart again. And by the time you return to Forest Haven, another day will have passed. So that's the... That's the way that you can do this. But like, it took me two and a half days to get all those figurines done. They're all done now, and we can now progress to the Forbidden Fortress, or the Forsaken Fortress, and we can go and rescue our sister. But that's gonna be our next episode. If you enjoyed this adventure, um, and getting the figurines and enjoyed looking at them with me, please feel free to give me a thumbs up, rate me a like. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you always know when new content comes out. Also, please tell your friends about me so they can come and they can enjoy these adventures and enjoy the videos just as much as you do. And like Link is like, oh, oh. yeah, he's, he's exhausted from going back and forth too. Um, but yeah, if, if, you, if you enjoy these videos, please give me a thumbs up, tell your friends about me so they can come and enjoy these adventures, same as you. Finally, and most importantly of all, please remember this. See, look at that. He's, he's aching and he's, he's exhausted from traveling the Great Sea. But yeah, join me for our next video. We're going to go invade the Forsaken Fortress and rescue our sister. But that's going to be our next episode in episode 15. And I look forward to bringing you that adventure. And we're just going to go and literally invade. We're going to blow up their, their gates. We're going to sail in and we are going to take our Master Sword that we got from the Hyrule Castle. And we are just going to just annihilate we're gonna go in guns blazing basically and just just cut down anyone who will oppose us because we are so angry they took our sister we're just gonna go kill everybody and we're gonna take pictures of the bosses so i look forward to bringing you that adventure but i hope you'll join me next time for the invasion of forsaken fortress but until then i'm z signing off <laughs>